Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, we will remember this Labor Day weekend for its torrential downpours, especially on Saturday. And then again this afternoon in our northern counties where some locally heavy rain occurred once again. But at least the rain chances will be slowly fading away over the next 24 hours. Temperature-wise, we were pretty close to normal for our Labor Day. Low to mid-80s across the area, though it did cool down north of the river this afternoon as the outflow from all that rain in our northern counties sank southward. But... The humidity remained uh, very high, and the humidity will still be high tomorrow, but it will begin to come down starting on Wednesday. Live first warning Doppler radar, all false returns here. The radar beam is really bending. It's hitting the inversion and then coming back down to the ground. But you can see the real deals here. Got a band of showers and thunder showers just west of the trade water, and that band drifting to the east. So you could get some rain into at least southern portions of Union and and Webster counties from Sturgis down to the Providence area. And meanwhile, the very heavy rain that was over Hancock County has pretty much dissipated, but now more rain developing up in northern Perry County. You can see this kind of fading away and then redevelopment here. We've got a front lane just south of the river and little ripples of energy are coming along that front. And even though the sun is down, that energy is enough to generate an increase in the rain, even though you know we're losing the heating. Uh, there's a lot of moisture out there for these uh, these showers to work with. And you can see the heaviest rain today was along and north of the Ohio River. A couple of bullseyes. Uh, one was right on the Davis Hancock County line near the Gatewood floral area, but the, the big bullseye was up in northeastern Dubois County, where our first warning Doppler system estimated to the northeast of Jasper as much as 3.7 inches of rain just to the south of Dubois crossing along Indiana 545. That's the rain from the last 24 hours. Let's take a look at the rainfall over the entire Labor Day weekend. We know what happened in the Evansville area with that record four and a half inches of rain on Saturday afternoon, but that was not the heaviest. The heaviest over that three-day period was in western portions of uh, Davis County. You can kind of see that band going uh, from west of Owensboro right along the Ohio River up towards the Tell City area, but the bullseyes were uh, just to the southeast of St. Joseph, 6.2 inches estimated there, and 5.3 inches along Kentucky 50 just west of the bypass there uh, to the west of Owensboro. So we don't need any more rain. Kind of unusual here for early September. Our Heads Construction Tower camera, that's the Highway 41 strip in Henderson. Here's how the day played out from the vantage point in downtown Evansville off the top of Fifth Third Bank. We saw a little sun, a little rain at times, but not that much rain in Evansville today. We had a, a pretty sunset. Right now the temperature is down in the low 70s with the dew point close behind. So that's going to lead to some fog overnight. We take Temperatures now running about 70 to 75 will fall into the upper 60s as this front slowly pushes down to the southeast and that will gradually take the showers and eventually the humidity with it over the next one to two days. So future tracker diminishes this action we have right now uh, and then tomorrow we see more scattered showers and thunder showers redevelop. I think better chances will be in western Kentucky in the afternoon. Those end late in the day and then partly cloudy tomorrow night and Wednesday as the humidity begins to fall. Thursday Thursday will be the pick day of the week with sunshine, mid-80s, but pleasantly low humidity levels. That'll be a nice change of pace. But overnight, a few showers lingering, some patchy fog developing, upper 60s, some sun tomorrow, more scattered showers and thunder showers developing, more numerous this time in western Kentucky, still humid, 79 to 84. But 70 forecast, I'm taking the humidity off the board starting Wednesday. Right through Friday, some nice weather. Highs in the mid-80s, but the humidity is back on Saturday, along with a significant chance of rain again. 60%, 82 for the high, but it looks like a front's going to come through Sunday morning, so that'll be our better chance of rain first half of the day, and hopefully we begin to dry out later Sunday as the rain chances and humidity fall again going into early next week. Okay, not so bad. No. Thanks, Wayne. No.